What the a fudge? Hello. Greetings. I don't actually have an intro for this show. I just kind of fucking say, hey, what's up? Welcome to EXP Gain, the YouTube show that uh, always... I'm your host, Evan. <clears throat> and I know, I know what you're thinking. This is this is definitely weird. Um, uh, obviously, uh, obviously, if you you guys don't know me too well yet, but I, I like to think that a lot about me is revealed, and a lot of people kind of get the gist of me based on definitely based on these episodes on this channel that I've released already. And you could probably tell. That I'm not much of a sports person. But you know, god damn it, you know what I am? I may not be a sports person, but I sure as hell am a game person. Video game, that is. Because, because baseball is also a game. I'm just, this is, welcome to Backyard Baseball. Backyard Baseball for the fucking GameCube. I, this, I, I know we're we're gonna we're gonna give it a try, so I guess I should real quickly just go over my history with this game. Greetings. No, <laughs> I'm just gonna go over my history with this game. Uh, I we got this. Me and my brother got these this game and then backyard football for the GameCube as well around the same time when we were kids. Um, he was a much bigger sports person than I was, uh, but. Boy, howdy, did we love to play these games. I guess it's, it's the fact that I knew I knew enough about baseball and football to like get the gist of what how to play the game, I guess. I played plenty of baseball. I didn't really play football, but I played baseball in, in, in elementary school and with friends and stuff. So I got the gist of it, and then just being able to play, but in, like in a, a video game setting actually made it fun for me and i gotta admit the cast of characters for this game i just love i love it i love almost every character uh so we're just gonna give it a try and if it's if it's not if we're not feeling good about it uh i mean if we're really not feeling good about it i just won't post and if that's the case, then no one's listening to me say these things. I can say whatever I want. I did not care for The Last Jedi. It was it was very substandard. It was it looked great, but it was very hollow. It was kinda like um fool's gold if you will it looked pretty but it, it had no real substance and all the substance that was there was very antithetical to what you know it's, it, we'll, we'll talk about that when uh, of course of course you know that's the perfect indication for me as a person that i'm playing a baseball video game and i end up within the first fucking five minutes end up talking about star wars that that's definitely indication that this is how this is gonna go we're gonna be home. We're gonna start with rookie. Uh, we're gonna start with six because I will not play with power ups on stamina off and errors off. We'll start off easy, and once oh I guess I should finish my fucking thought. If these are bad, uh, we'll just play like one or two games and we'll call it completed. If if it ends up being somewhat fun, and uh, I don't know like. I can find ways to be funny enough and entertaining enough that you guys or that it's it feels good then we'll play a season I don't know I think that'd be kind of fun okay all right wow so uh, I guess I guess this is also gonna be a uh, a series where I guess you kind of just I'll just talk and you'll learn shit about me uh, just random facts. Like, for example, uh, I have zero interest in baseball now. Um, for when I was a kid, I used to kind of play it a little bit. It was very much, not very much on my radar. 
when I was a kid and through high school when I was like, if I had to say I had a favorite game or favorite uh, team, it was always my, uh, my family is a Cincinnati Reds team. They're obsessed with the Reds. We didn't mind uh, the Indians, you know, and I guess once again, you'll learn more about me. I guess that, that kind of reveals the fact that I'm from Ohio because the Indians and the Reds were the two teams that we kind of were expected to like. Um, we used to go to Reds games all the time when I was a kid, uh, like once a year. And, and because my, everyone else in my family were pretty big baseball fans. And I got to admit, I was not a baseball fan. I didn't watch them on TV. I didn't really, as a kid, I didn't really enjoy playing it except with my friends. Maybe I didn't enjoy playing it on like officially team, like little league teams or whatever. But I have to admit going to the base, going to MLB games was really fun to me. I don't know if it was just the experience, if it was the energy of being there. It's the fact that I tend to like things where you can get like kind of niche food. So like getting hot dogs at a, at a baseball game was, was always fun to me. I don't know. Um, but yeah, Reds were our team, uh, for a very brief stint when I was like trying to get more into baseball. I wanted to pick a team that I had absolutely no fucking clue at what anything had to do with them. Not from Ohio. I was like, I'm just going to pick a random ass team that I never see get talked about on TV or anyone. And I, I randomly just kind of picked the, uh, the Royals. So for a very short amount of time, I was a very surface level Royals fan. I could, I couldn't, if someone walked in here right now and put a gun to my head and told me to name one Royals player, I, I wouldn't be able to do it. But uh, this is backyard baseball, damn it! And I'm gonna at least uh, this for the first part. I'm gonna try to play with just at least on my team, just play with the backyard baseball characters because they're the they're the MVPs of this freaking game. So, what uh, what do my let's look at these teams? They they're the monsters, the melon heads. That's like a staple for backyard baseball, I think. The hornets, the mallers, the armadillos, the roadrunners, the fly. I always like the fly traps. That looks pretty cool. We'll go with that. And we'll fight the hornets. I don't know. And uh, humongous, the itchy fly traps, the the, the might. You gotta go with the mighty fly traps. Come on! And this is the first. Is the is the hat color? Uh, let's make it like white. Can I make it white? Yeah. White and of course my favorite color is green, so we're gonna make. Man, but I'm more. It's already got green though with the fly trap. We'll make it purple. Purple is like my second favorite color. That's a little too pink. There, perfect. Uh, awesome. So I guess this is just the uh, field we're playing on. Um, oh god, this is so. This is so. Fr freaking nostalgic seeing this. Uh, despite sand that gets in your shoes, this field favors a running team. The sand makes the ball sluggish if it's kept on the ground. Sure. Desert butts. When the desert butts golf course was being built, the contractors lost count and wound up with an extra green. Gator flats. Dirt from, from canal dredging was dumped here and then leveled. It wasn't long before a ball game got started on this sluggishly muddy field. Steel Stadium, Junkyard, Fraser Field, Wheeler Acres. It's, uh, I guess we'll go with just like, that's always like the go-to desert butts, right? Oh, here we go. The, the Choosing your team. Okay, so just real quick, I'm going to treat you to what was, what was and still is to this day my favorite thing about this game. The fucking music to this game is so incredible. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. So we're gonna turn this up a little bit, and I'm gonna go through some of these and re and you can relive with me the beauty that is that is some of these. Food. Uh. Hey there. Hey, dude. Oh, I thought he was supposed to have us. 
In case you did not hear, I am the master of the heavy rocking guitar. Have you heard the heavy rocking guitar? It goes something like this. It would be even more rocking if I had a real guitar. Wow, he talked for quite a while there. Uh, what the heck? I thought you were... I don't get it. Well, I don't... I'm gonna be sad. Do you only hear it when you... When they come up to go to bat? That kind of sucks. Okay, well, never mind. Let me turn this back down. Uh, the the each, each of the backyard baseball characters... Uh, they all have their own, like... Like like theme song almost I guess you'd call it and it, they're awesome this like almost every character is awesome um but for some reason I can't I'm not hearing it but uh all right whatever well my I'm always going to go with my my one true my one favorite character uh which is Kenny Yamaguchi or Kabaguchi uh I always picked him he was always like my number one Uh, man, they really gave them like a lot of voice lines for that. All right, this is Kenny Kawaguchi, motherfuckers. He's one of the best characters in the entire game. I love this guy. One of the smarter players in the league. Kenny is a solid hitter with a good eye for the ball. Incredibly, Kenny seems to get stronger as the game goes on and he can play for hours or days. He's pretty fast on the base path, too. Overall, Kenny's a good utility player. Uh, that's kind of weird, like... I don't know, I, I guess because he's, I don't know, because he's in a wheelchair, I guess he gets like better as he gets tired less. I don't know. All I know is I love him and I love his song, but I really love him. So I, I guess I should go over this one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's nine positions. Oh my God. I haven't thought about fucking baseball in years. It's going to take this entire episode just to get this freaking game started. Uh, so his good things are running and defense. So I guess... I don't know. Don't fucking shit on me, okay? I don't know. Uh, I'm not that good at baseball, but we're, we're just going to go with it. All right, so he's going to be my second baseman. I can't remember what else I put him in. But I guess I need a pitcher now. So let's go to pitching. I'm not picking Randy John. Oh, yeah, I forgot your custom characters, too. Uh, the, so the best backyard pitcher was Angela Del Vecchio but I don't really remember using her much Mikey Thomas that was one of my brother's favorite characters Sally Dobbs Ronnie Dobbs <laughs> Pete Wheeler I did I did like Pete Pete Wheeler's pretty funny oh, let's see I do like Jorge too and there's there's the mascot the mascot to backyard sports is Pablo Sanchez um, I guess we'll give, we'll give Mikey a try just for, uh, I guess that that's for you, Andrew, for, for, uh, you know, his pitching not that great, but you know, whatever. All right. So I guess I need a catcher now. Do they have like, no catcher who should fielding power contact speed. I guess we need a big guy. We should go to big biggest first. So Ernie Steele. That guy's kind of cool. He's, I always thought he was awesome because he's tall. Billy Jean Blackwood. We got Jacinda Smith. See, I love all these characters. They all look awesome. Keisha Phillips. Lisa Crockett. Ricky Johnson. That was another one of my brother's favorites. And these two are literal actual twins with not a single thing different about them. Jim Tomey. Pete Wheeler, uh, Dmitry Petrovich. 
I really, really liked Stephanie Morgan, too, when I was a kid. And she's right next to Mike Piazza, so I guess I should make her a catcher. Yeah, we're going to make her my catcher. All right, so now I need a first baseman, which I guess would be fielding. Um, oh, Ichiro. I love Ichiro. Ichiro's awesome. Maybe I should have one major league player in Ichiro. <laughs> I think he's a shortstop, isn't he? I can't remember. Yeah. Ichiro's a shortstop. Kenny is second base. So, uh, let's see. Who else here? We have Amir Khan. I did like Ahmed. We saw him earlier. I do like Ahmed, but he's apparently not that great at fielding. Uh, we'll go with Ernie Steele. He'll be our first baseman. Or third baseman. Let's make first baseman. Huh. Reese Worthington. <laughs> and he's making arm farts because this was a children's game. Pablo, you are center field. Uh, Ahmed, you're left field just because I need someone who's a powerful hitter, I guess. And, uh... Let's see, let's see, let's see. Gretchen Hasselhoff, she's kind of cool. We'll go with Jorge. There you go. There's my team. All right. And I guess, do they put them in like, wait, oh, okay. Oh, this is just batting, I guess. Yeah, batting order. All right. So we want, I don't know. I don't care about batting order. All right. So we want, where are, oh God, where are they? Yep. He was pitcher, right? No, he was catcher. Yeah. Uh, no, no. She was catcher. I guess Mikey was Mikey. Yeah, he was pitcher. Uh, yep, that's right. That's right. Yep. Holy crap, that actually worked out. Oh no, I wanted him on third. And then him on first. And then these two there. Uh, yeah, that shouldn't be too bad, right? What the hell? Let's get this game started. I will admit, the nostalgia factor is quite high with this game right now. Hiya, folks! It's another great day for baseball. We're live from Desert Buttes. She called it Desert Buttes. That's not Desert Buttes. It's Desert Butts, and you fucking know it. Whoever you are. Oh, I skipped the opening, but... Alright. Let's get this fucking started! On the mound, Mikey Thomas, the real MVP. At that now, we've got Maria Luna. Don't underestimate the power of this. What we've got here is a kid who loves baseball. <laughs> baseball and cheese. Hey. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can turn the music loud and everything else kind of down. There, we'll turn it up a little bit that way. I really want you guys to hear the music. Um, oh, we'll turn it again. Okay. I'm mighty disappointed in Let's see here. So I guess we'll try with a stand. Whoa, standard fastball. Okay, <laughs> there's a strike. Let's see what the changeup is. Changeup is just the. S oh! Throw, throw! Ah! She's safe. Damn it. Uh, Alright, I gotta kind of re-familiarize myself with these controls. You know what's really funny? <laughs> you, know, you know what's really funny? I actually, uh, I guess you'll learn this about me. Uh, that I... One of my... Gotcha. Uh, one of my first major jobs in my life. Oh, you gotta love that. Ooh, that like... Pulp Fiction Diner, 50s Diner. Because he's, to he's Tony. He's Tony Del Vecchio, you motherfuckers. We're gonna throw a fucking screwball right at his fucking head. Okay. Well, uh, one of my first big jobs, uh, and I loved this job to death. That's a pop fly. 
uh, was working at a movie theater. Mikey Dubois? I'm, I'm not sure why that song was for that. Maybe because he's like... I guess he's supposed to be from like Louisiana because he's like slightly French. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I forgot how to like... I forgot how to dive. How do you dive? Nope. Billy Jean Blackwood. Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not uh, sure how to dive on this. Anyway, uh, one of my big first major uh, jobs was at a movie theater. I, I won't say what movie theater, although I'm sure it's easier for you guys to find out now. Uh, but whatever. Uh, uh, and loved that job, and I'm pro I'll probably talk about it a whole lot on this channel, obviously, because I really loved it. But uh, oh my god, that freaking Humongo Vision Jumbotron is so goddamn nostalgic! <laughs> wow. Anyway, um, I actually worked. I was a manager there, and I actually had an employee there whose whose name was. No, 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 Get there! Nice! You fucked up, Gretchen, whatever your fucking name is. Nice song, each of uh, you. Um, I actually had a person who uh, worked there, and they, uh, his name was Reese, and weirdly enough... Wow. He actually looked and acted a lot like this Reese. <laughs> Weirdly enough, he was just a kid. And, uh... Uh... It's really funny that he acted just like this. Oh, oh, come on, come on, come on, Reese. Dive, dive! Oh. Well. Yeah. Oh, God, it's so good. It's so good. It's such good music. I love it. I love it. That's a ball, you son of a bitch. I'm trying to get Ernie Steele here to knock it out of the park. Knock it out of the park! Hit. What? You're a dumbass is what you are. Ground rule double! Oh, nice. I guess, uh, for those of you who don't know, I guess a ground rule double is when it bounces in the field, but then it, it bounces outside after the bounce, so it's not a home run. Oh, my. You're adorable. Oh, you're safe. You chubby little asshole, I love you. That was awesome. Oh, I forgot about Dante. I forget what his last name is. It's so good. I fucking love that. I love it so much. Ah! We get there? Yes, we did. All right, so is this next person a power hitter? Because if so, I've got bases loaded. Good contact hitter. I'm going to try power. I'm going to see if she can do it. You're fucking cool. Ah, uh, damn it. Come on. Come on. Put her Put her right down the middle. Give me one right. Yeah! Ah! Oh, well, it's still pretty good. Do you have time to run home? Oh, I scored you! Nice! I mean, it would have been cool. I, I mean, I get it. It would have been cooler if it was a grand slam, but that's a pretty good hit to get two, two runs in and get yourself to third. All right. Ahmed's cool, too. Oh, that's fine. Oops. All right, come on. It's literally five to zero at the and the first is out. Wow, Ahmed is slow. You know, maybe I should have played this on a higher difficulty. <laughs> Jorge, you're an adorable bitch. 
Ooh, that's a nice double play, I will admit. All right. Oh, I love the hat game, as you've seen me play on Croc many times. So center, left, center, right, center, left. It's one. It's one. That's what I thought. Thanks for playing and enjoy the rest of the game. Dante Robinson, that was his name. Uh... I feel like I should probably try to get through the second, the second inning, and then we'll call it an episode. Oh, don't act like you know what you're doing, Dimitri. Woo! That's a strike. It is strike, Dmitri Petrovich. I will now throw carf ball down on bottom right corner. Kenny, the mother, the motherfucking MVP, bitches. He's so. Did he just eat a burger? Did he flip a burger in midair? Or was that a comb and he caught it in his fro? That looked like a burger. That looked like he literally tossed a burger up in the air and then caught it in his mouth and ate it. I mean, I'm not complaining. In fact, I'm impressed. Dante. Oh, 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 oh. That's not what I wanted to do. I forget how to, how to run quickly. I don't know. I thought there was a way to run quickly when you're on when you're fielding. I don't know. Why the fuck not? We'll put a fastball right down the middle. And it got us a pop fly. Nice. It's a very standard uh, uh, theme song, I will say. Screwball? <laughs> and then a screwball down and a ball. <laughs> Strike three. You're out, baby. You're out, baby. Would you? Would the parent or legal guardian of Kyle, Kyle Erickson, please report to the information desk? Parent or legal guardian of Kyle Erickson, please report to the information desk. Thank you. I mean, it's not, you can't get lost on this field. Look at this field. If you get lost in this field, you're hopeless. I feel like I shouldn't even be like, I should just swing. I want to get the second inning over with. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you, Dimitri. I'm up by six. I really don't want to. I don't want to beat a dead horse, you know. D Jesus. E see, even Ichiro tries to fuck it up and he still does well. God, I gotta admit I like that song too. Yeah, I just want to end the second inning because uh, we're only playing through six innings, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so real quick. Since it's the end of the episode, I'll sum it up. <laughs> oh, I should really try to get all of their their strikeout kind of poses. Um, well, yeah, like I said, if I, I wouldn't be surprised if this this series is kind of seen as kind of boring or whatever, because it's such it's such like a non-video game thing uh, to do like. Oh, we'd like to wish Christy a happy 11th birthday. Uh, such like a non-video game thing to do baseball. And I'm not even that big of a baseball fan, so... But, I don't know, it's... I'm going for the nostalgia factor, and I haven't played it in forever, so it's like playing a fresh game, almost. So, uh... So... No, that's not creepy at all. But yeah, so... I, I we'll play through it, and if it's fun, you know... We'll keep playing, if it's not, we'll call it a game. If anything, we can call it another game that we beat. So, thank you for joining me for EXP Game. It's, uh, I really appreciate it. I appreciate you. So, uh, catch you on the flip side. <laughs> Bye.